How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. This is Final Cut Friday for February 15th, 2019. On this week's episode, we're talking all about transitions. Yes, using transitions in Final Cut Pro 10, I'm gonna present 10 basic tips to help you master transitions. Now, obviously, if you're a Final Cut Pro 10 master, chances are you'll know most of these, but maybe, just maybe, there's one or two that slip through the cracks Maybe you'll learn something. Hopefully I can learn you something. So grab your tea, head over to your Mac, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I wanna show you is how to insert a default transition. Okay, so this is very basic, but all you need to do is highlight a clip, then hold the Command key and press T. Doing so will create a default transition at the in and out of the clip. So the default transition is the cross dissolve, and you can see it smoothly transition like that. Now I'm gonna show you how to change the default transition. So like I was saying, by default, the cross dissolve is the default transition in Final Cut Pro 10, but you can change it. All you need to do is find a different transition that you want to make default. And once you find it, right click on that transition and select make default. So we chose puzzle as our default transition. So now let's select the clip in the timeline and use our command T shortcut. And now it inserts two puzzle transitions. Let's wait for it to render first of all. Give it a second. All right, rendering finished. And you can see the puzzle transition now. And now we're gonna change the default transition length. All right, so to do this, all you need to do is open up Final Cut Pro 10 preferences. So we'll do that right now. Select preferences, click where it says editing, and then choose the transition duration. You can go ahead and bump that up, and then you can bump it back down if you wish to as well. All right, so a much longer transition. Let's go ahead and use our shortcut, delete these, and you can see much longer transitions, a lot more drama switching between those two clips. Now let's discuss how to trim a transition. Trimming a transition is super easy. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this transition right here. And then use our select tool and now just grab the edge and you can easily make the transition shorter or longer depending on which direction you pull. And as you can see, it's symmetrical. Both sides of the clip are changed. Super simple, super easy. Let's do it here. Let's make this one long, keep that one short. Let's play it back and you see that drama. All right, let's move on. And now how to ripple edit a transition. Now ripple edits are performed by default when you have the select tool and you drag the edge of a clip like that. That super handy magnetic timeline keeps everything together. But what about a transition? How can you ripple edit a transition? Because when you drag normally, you're trimming or making the clip bigger, right? Well, to do so, you wanna use the drag handles near the upper left and upper right hand corner of the transition. And when you do that, you can actually ripple edit while the transition is in place. So you don't have to delete the transition to perform a ripple. You can do it all in one fell swoop. And how to slip edit a transition. Now I'm pretty sure that's the right terminology, slip edit, but if I'm not right on that, please feel free to correct me. It won't be the first time I've been wrong. But the point is, this edit is super cool because you can move a transition between two clips without altering the length of the transition. So you can do so like that. And basically you're just changing the length of the two clips instead making one longer while making the other shorter. And the great thing is you don't even have to change tools you can use the select tool and just put your cursor in the middle of the transition to move it. How to insert a transition between two clips. Now there are a couple of ways you can do this. The first way is to simply drag the transition over to the point where the two clips meet, just like this. You just drop it like that and there's your transition between two clips. But you can also just click where the two clips join together and then use the Command T keyboard shortcut and that will insert the default transition. How to insert an in and out transition. Now I've kind of already showed you this a couple of times, but I'm gonna show you again. So to insert an in and out transition, select the clip and use Command T. 
But there's another way, select the clip and double click on a desired transition, just like that. How to replace a transition. Now, if you like to swap out a transition for another one, it's super easy to do. All you need to do is drag and drop the transition that you wanna use instead onto the existing transition. So we're gonna grab puzzle and drop it onto the crossfade right here. I'm gonna let it render and then we'll play it back. And then how to locate transitions using the timeline index. The timeline index is one of the most handy features in Final Cut Pro 10. It's a very unheralded feature that's so useful. One of the ways I like to use it is to search for transitions and then quickly jump between all the transitions on the timeline. So you can see there, I search for cross, for cross dissolve, and you can see I can easily navigate between all those transitions just like that. So what'd you guys think about that? Um, I'm interested to hear your feedback. Let me know down below in the comments section. Again, that has been a look at 10 different transition related tips in Final Cut Pro 10 on this week's episode of Final Cut Friday. Let me know down below in the comments section what you think. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.